What's going on everyone? I'm Brandon Peters and welcome to my channel. Okay, so right now it seems like a lot of people are thinking about getting into real estate. Maybe right now you're thinking about jumping into the game, you're th working on getting your license currently, or you did just get your real estate license and you're wondering, what do I do now? What do I do? So guess what? Here's a great video for you guys. I'm gonna go over some of the first five steps you guys need to take to set you up for a very good, successful first year in the business. The very first thing you need to do as a brand new realtor, hop on sites like Zillow, find the top realtors in your city, okay? Listen for a second, find out where I'm going with this. You need to know who the top realtors are in your city, because as a brand new agent, you don't know what to do. You don't know how to close a transaction. You don't know how to close a buyer, close a seller, get somebody to wanna work with you, okay? You need to go meet with these top agents in your city. Find someone who can mentor you. Find someone who is who, someone that you aspire to be, someone that's doing exactly what you wanna be doing, making the money you wanna make, driving the car you wanna drive, has the, the future life that you want. Go find that person and ask them to mentor you. Okay, ask them to shadow you on your first couple deals and help you close your first few transactions. That's gonna take you after a few successfully closed transactions miles and miles further than if you were to do it all on your own. Okay, so we found our mentor, right? We know what brokerage we're in. We know we got a mentor that's one of the best in the city that's gonna help us succeed. Now what do we have to do? Well, we're a brand new realtor, we gotta go find people who want to either buy or sell real estate. That's the only way we get paid. For me, the best thing that's helped me out is hopping on the phones. It's not always fun, guys. You have to find ways to make it fun and fall in love with the process because a lot of agents, they'll go, they'll fall in love with the results, but the results are a byproduct from the activity that they do on a daily basis. Okay, the number one thing you need to do after finding a mentor is prospecting. That could be open houses, door knocking, uh, your sphere of influence, calling everyone you know, but that's only going to get you so far. The other thing you can be doing is cold calling homeowners in a certain neighborhood that maybe you know. Maybe you like the price points, you like the homes in that area, and calling expired or for sale by owners. That, the few things that I actually do to get my listings are calling expired, door knocking, and circle prospecting. Expired listings is someone who had their home on the market once with a realtor and it did not sell. For whatever reason, the house didn't sell and it came off the market. We are gonna give those homeowners a call, see if they are still interested in selling their home and try to be the agent that helps them and actually, with our mentor, help them get the home sold the right way this time. The other thing we're doing is circle prospecting. That is finding that neighborhood that you wanna sell in. So these people, it's gonna be a long time in between. You gotta do this for a long time, but discipline is key in this and consistency. You're gonna be circle prospecting for a long time and you're gonna be moving slow, it's gonna feel like. At first, moving very slow, but after months and months and months and months, it's gonna work out, you're gonna be starting to move much faster, it's like compound interest. It will grow over time. So right now you're circle prospecting, maybe you're not getting anything, but you're getting people that say, you know what, I wanna sell next year. I'm thinking about selling at the end of this year. You call enough of those people, hey, six months, 12 months down the road, you're gonna be delisting three homes a month and quickly become one of the top agents in your area. Okay, the other great thing you can be doing is open houses on the weekends. I know a lot of top realtors in my market that that's how they got started, is open houses. They weren't on a team, they were not paying for leads, they were just doing open houses every Saturday and Sunday. Some of them were even doing open houses during the week. I mean, it's a long, boring process working these open houses and you come across so many different types of people, people that Maybe they just saw the signs, they were in the neighborhood, thought they'd wanna take a look at what you have for sale. Uh, people that are just nosy neighbors. Maybe even people that are ready to buy right now. Okay, there's a lot of different people that you're going to meet 
during open houses. Same thing with open with uh, circle prospecting and same thing with expireds. You're calling tons of different types of people, okay? The biggest thing here, guys, is one common denominator between all of them. You are talking to people. That is the name of the game here. We are talking to people and asking as many people as we possibly can, are you thinking about buying or selling real estate this year? Or maybe in the next couple years, are you thinking about making a move? You talk to enough people, you will get now business, but you're also gonna get business six months from now, 12 months from now, two years from now. This is a long-term game, guys. If you think too short-term, you're not gonna go anywhere, okay? Because you're focused so much on right now. But chances of you calling somebody, holding an open house, and them saying, I wanna go, I wanna sell my house, I wanna buy a house today, is a lot slimmer than somebody saying, I wanna buy a house in the next year, in the next two years, I wanna sell my house in the next year, the next two years. So we have to focus on what can we do today, tomorrow, and the next day, and every day for the next two years, next 12 months, that's gonna get us to the goal of selling Maybe you only wanna sell 25 homes a year, maybe 50, maybe 100 homes a year. If you do this process on a daily basis, you are gonna reach your goals a lot quicker than you would think, okay? Trust me on that one, guys. I've learned from experience. I know what happens when you don't prospect and I know what happens when you do. So take my word for it. So that is the process, guys. If you wanna get yourself to selling 25 homes, 50 homes, 100 homes a year, the thing that you need to do that's most important in this business is talking to people, okay? The art of prospecting, something that you need to be doing on a daily basis, and that is gonna catapult your business much farther and much quicker than you would anticipate, okay? Now, we've got our mentor working and helping us out to be the best agent that we possibly can be. We're taking Brandon's tips and we're prospecting every day. And you know what? In your first 30 days, you found someone that said, hey, you know what, Bill? I do want to sell my house and I want to sell my house in the next couple years. What the f do I do? This guy wants to sell his house. I'm a brand new realtor. I've never even sold a house before. What do I do? Calm down, okay? Here's where great agents, the reason why they are great. Following up with those leads that you've worked so hard to generate, You've worked so hard, you spent hours on the phone, hours out in the sun, door knocking, getting sweaty, getting pissed off, getting the door slammed in your face, getting people hanging up the phone, telling you to f off. It's horrible. And the worst part about it is you got this great lead that said they wanna sell their house and then you didn't follow up with them and you know what? Another realtor came in and listed their house. All that for nothing. So what we have to do, we need to follow up with our leads. Okay, that's maybe setting them up on a weekly email, a way of staying in touch with them. I like to do that if something sells in their neighborhood, they'll get an email from me saying, hey, Sally, it's Brandon Peters here over at you know whatever real estate company. Hey, this house right around the corner from you just sold, wanted to keep you up to date with what's going on in your market. We Emailing them weekly with some maybe markets data also is another good thing you can be doing and make sure you are calling these people. Don't even be afraid to send them a video. What's gonna be great about you, if you send them videos, that separates you immediately. They get to see what you look like. They get to see a little bit of your personality when every other realtor might just be sending them a text. Hey, Sally, home just sold. They don't know you. They don't know that person. They've never seen them. They don't know how they act. They don't know their personality. They don't know anything about them. You send them videos, you send them emails. Hey, you even stop on by, call them. Hey, Sally, it's Brandon Peters, that realtor you spoke with a couple weeks ago. Hey, I'm in your neighborhood. I'm actually gonna be in your neighborhood on Wednesday. Uh, if you're around, I'd love to swing on by for a quick minute and just introduce myself. Whatever you gotta do, put your face in front of theirs, let them see what you look like and let them see that amazing personality. That is what's gonna get that client to work with you. We got our awesome mentor. We are prospecting every day and everyone's saying, I want to work with you, man. I'm getting ready to sell my house in the next year. Business is blowing up. We've been doing our follow-up tasks and we know, man, I got all this business coming up. Now what we got to do is continue learning, okay? Learning our market so when we speak to our clients, 
we know what we're talking about, okay, but also we know not just our market, but we know maybe our scripts, okay? Dealing with somebody saying, oh, hey, that's how much you charge or that's how much you wanna list my house for? No, I was thinking this. You knowing how to deal with those types of problems that arise in these listing scenarios or buyer scenarios, okay? These appointments that you go on. You gotta study, keep watching other videos. There's tons of videos on the internet. Ricky Carruth, a great guy that I watch and listen to, one of my mentors myself, um, I'm part of his program, a great guy to listen to for prospecting, great scripts, follow up, and also how to do how to deal with these objections that buyers and sellers will give you. You got to know how to handle these. That's what's gonna help you close buyer after buyer after seller after seller and watch that business grow, okay? Now we got a couple listings. Maybe we got a couple buyers under contract. We're starting to say, hey man, this, this train is moving. I'm getting going. I'm actually a full-time agent now. This is my job for life. This train ain't stopping. I'm gonna keep going and going and going. Okay, so how, here's what we need to learn now. How can we leverage this listing into more business for ourselves? How can we take this buyer that we just closed and help leverage it into more buyers and seller leads for us? Okay, that's where once again, we wanna backtrack to the earlier step of following up with our past clients. We also wanna ask for referrals. Maybe we wanna call the entire neighborhood. I do that myself. Hey, uh, John Erickson. Hey, I just helped sell your neighbor's house down the street from you. Look, we sold it in seven days and I got multiple offers and I sold it at this price, man. Is there anything I can do for you? Have you guys thought about moving in the next couple years? Do you have an agent that you work with? I'm your guy if you don't, let's do something. Get their email, you stay in touch with them, boom. Now you're leveraging that one deal that you closed, telling all the neighbors about it. You're getting more, more buyers and seller leads. You're asking your clients for referrals because you did an excellent job because your mentor trained you the right way. They're saying, hey man, my realtor Brandon kicked ass for me. Got me the best term, best price, negotiated the best deal. He really saved my butt during this transaction. He was awesome. He has to be your guy to help you buy or sell a home. Get those referrals, guys. All right, now we're closing deals continuously. We are a badass agent now. Where do we go from here? How do we improve? We are prospecting on a daily basis. Like I told you guys, if there's one thing to take away from this video, it's prospect, 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 prospect. We're doing our follow-up tasks now. We're following up with clients, making sure we're not letting clients leave that we've worked hard to get slip through the cracks and we're continuing our education. So where do we go from here now? We need to figure out systems, create our own systems to help us automate as much as we can so we're not running around like a chicken with our heads cut off doing a million things a day. We need to focus on what we can control, the things that we can do on a daily basis that helped us get to selling 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 homes a year. So in order to do that, we gotta have amazing winning systems that do not, that can take off some of the legwork for us, okay? And let us focus on what we need to focus on to get, which is getting new clients and closing the clients that we have and making sure all our current clients and past clients are incredibly happy with the choices that they have made. So you need to create these awesome systems, guys. Do not leave any holes in your bucket. If you feel like there's a, a, a spot and your job that you're slipping up on, hey, you know what? I keep doing this without thinking and every time it slows me down. It causes this big problem because I don't remember to do this to help avoid that. You got to create those systems, guys. A step-by-step -step process. Every transaction will be, in a lot of ways, the same. Okay, there's still the same steps maybe different problems arise, but at the end of the day, it's still, you gotta do this, then you do that, then you do that, then we get to the closing table. So create those winning strategies that are gonna help automate and alleviate some of the less important work that we do on a daily basis. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for checking me out, staying for the whole time and checking out my channel. If you liked what I had to say, 
click the subscribe button down below and leave a comment and tell me what you guys thought. This is my first YouTube video, so you guys watching means the world to me, and I hope you guys come back soon for the next video. Thanks.